individuals, welcome back to Pokemon Thursday with my awesome Genesect. My uh, normal stroll around B&M just looking for some glass bottles of Cokes and this little bad boy popped up. Uh, it's from the uh, 20 years of Pokemon. They had loads of cool figures and, and plushes and shit. I thought I'd get myself a lovely Genesect. Being said, let's get to the uh, not confirmed, so no clickbaity craziness shenanigans going on. A rumour going around that the Gen 8 Pokemon games, as of the time of recording, has not been confirmed or denied. Pokemon games could be set in England, the United Kingdom, and I think that's awesome. So basically, I'm going to give you a few things as to why I think it would be a make for an awesome game, and a couple... I'm going to introduce the themes of the starters, which they could go off. Don't listen to me, though. I'm a big, fat idiot. To me, to the, for the duration of the video, because someone just gets to the end. Uh, watch time, <laughs> YouTube shenanigans and shit. I'm so ill. The content must nay, has to nay. Uh, no, it's pretty much the only words I can say. It's got to go. <laughs> we've we've got to get the shit out there. You know what I mean? We've got to get this shit on the road. And by shit, I mean um stuff. Uh, start the video. Yes, like I said, it's not being confirmed or denied. Pokemon Gen 8 could take place in the United Kingdom. Britain, uh, and I think that'll be so so fucking awesome. So here quickly before I get um, a few of the areas run down Here is a little look at what I think they could use as the starters and when you get to the end But you should be able to think cool. I love you The lion represents England. That's an England's national animal even though we don't have any wild lions and having a liar liar lion fire starter type would be pretty gnarly. I know we've got pyro and stuff just get rid of the normal typing. Just fire, make it slightly different. I know we had a big lion uh, thing going on with uh, so, uh, Solgaleo, but just make an awesome, cool little, little puppy. Well, not puppy, kitten. Or oh, it's a scary, ferocious lion. Incineroar was, I know, liony and tigery and stuff like that, but just on all fours, ready to rumble. And then for our water type, we're gonna go to Wales and look at their flag with a dragon on it. Now you'd make it a water dragon, so it would start off as like a baby little fish thing, and then it would turn into a ferocious dragon. Not that the, the dragon on Wales's flag is associated with water. That's just what I'm saying. I think that would be pretty sick if you could um make a nice like a like a Gyaradosy type Thingy. Just just change it up a bit. Don't make it look too identical to Gyarados as our starter uh, for the England region. My personal favourite because I love grass and I always choose the grass starter types. Uh, the Scottish um, flower, national flower, is the thistle, the Scottish fliss thistle, uh, to, and it's designed. It's like green with the, with the purple in the middle. If you could make some sort of menacing, scary-looking plant-type creature, kind of maybe with the body-ish of t bell sprout going on that way, uh, or maybe not. Um, that would be really, really fucking cool because you have like the, your dragon, your lion, and you have like this cool looking badassy plant thing. I mean, maybe some people won't choose because of it, but out of the three, uh, I absolutely adore that. Just uh, something you might you may disagree with it. Let us know in the comments below what you think about that and what you would change uh, if you would have a, the England, Scotland, Ireland, Northern Ireland uh, animals or national plants. What you would ha if you would have any of them type things as the uh, starters for this region. They just go into a couple of locations which are pretty, pretty dope. Uh, and then the, the way we can explore the sort of types of Pokemon we could find there. Let's move on to that bit. Of all the place where I live, the Lake District, where it's full of awesome water, uh, forests, amazing hillside, countryside. It looks so amazing and beautiful. You could have that be the first little part that you go through uh, uh, from, from starting in your little town to the next city so you could go through and you have all the water types there you would have some ground water types a lot of flying types in the forest you'd have your bugs and stuff uh, maybe come a little Pikachu's it would be the Lake District such a beautiful beautiful part of not only Britain but the world it's, it's amazing to look at it's amazing to live in uh, and to if Game Freak got their hands on it and how it looks and just design their own Pokemon-ness to it would be fucking amazing the Lake District is definitely up there uh, the, the, the big cities, you can have London, where uh, our villainous organisation could live, a uh, place like Manchester, Glasgow, uh, you could have the uh, Do down in Dover with the uh, the white cliffs of Dover that just look absolutely phenomenal, they could have their own little backstory there, a uh, little bit of story building towards the legendary maybe. Um, they, they look phenomenal, but London would be amazing, it would be gritty, it would be grotty, you could go down back alleys, you would find some grime of uh, poison types, you'd have the, the gangs and stuff of, of the, the new villainous organisation there, you'd have a, a gym, maybe even a couple of gyms, it, it could be so big, you, you have to put two gyms in there, you'd have loads of crazy shopping places, it would be a lot like how Kalos was laid out. 
Isle of Skye would be such a magical place. That's just at the top of England and then never eat shredded wheat to the west of it. It's like these old little islands scattered about. They've got so much beauty there. They've got these things called fairy pools. There's mountain ranges. It gets really snowy. You can take all in different little aspects and make it look so phenomenal. I've been to Isle of Skye before in person anyway. It's fucking dope. But to explore it in a Pokemon region where you'd get your grass types popping up. Again, more flying types. Uh, you can maybe have another different combina combination stuff. You've got bug types. You've got poison. Chuck in a few ghost times if you want to have like a swampy marshlandy part to it. It would be fucking phenomenal. Titan Town, where I originally lived for ages before I moved to Carlisle. Well, I'm from Milton Keynes, but we lived in a village called Heath. Uh, and it was just a tiny little village. I don't know, maybe 100, 150 people lived there. That could, uh, a play, little places like that, that are scattered around like Oxfordshire, uh, Derbyshire, Derbyshire, Yorkshire. You could, you'll find a little town to make it the little starting point of the adventure, which would be fucking cool. The best ideas, which I love, and I really love this idea, Stonehenge could be the, the place of where we do battle against and eventually capture our legendaries for this game, whatever the legendaries you, you, you may want them to be, if they want to represent something for Britain or not. Uh, Northern Ireland, I don't know what Northern Ireland would have. I don't think you can put leprechauns in, but so I'm sorry Northern Ireland for being a stereotype there. I think that would be fucking awesome. Stonehenge is this place that's already full of mystery within itself and, and not, not much knows. No one knows much is known about it, how they got there, how they were formed. There's loads of weird, not to call you weird, loads of crazy people, not to call you crazy, doing good so far. There's a shenanigans that goes on around there. It's, it's fucking, it's gnarly. So to have like a big legendary uh, appear, Pokemon appear there would be fucking insane. I think the way you can intertwine from the countryside into the big, uh, popular, light, bright, vibrant, modern, um, somewhat beautiful cities, uh, Newcastle. You could the way that the uh, sports, the Premier League football, is a massive, massive part of uh, British culture, and you could have the stadiums for the big cities in this, like St James's Park could be a gym, Old Trafford could be a gym, uh, the Emirates could be a gym. So the way you can intertwine it like that would be fucking awesome. Yeah, so go from little villages to the big cities, Stonehenge. The only place I couldn't work quite pick to base on London, because I'm not gonna, I don't know if they're going to take, if again, if it's true, might not be true, uh, where, if they're going to take parts of England, or if they're just, because Britain's not that big anyway, uh, to maybe do the whole thing just on like shrink it down type scale. Um, where would you put the Elite Four in Britain? So maybe that's a question for you guys to answer. Let me know in the comments below. Where would the Elite Four and the Pokemon League champion, the Pokemon League, take place in a British um, Pokemon game? There were a couple of little things that I just wanted to get on camera of why I think Britain would be a, an awesome location for maybe not the next gen of Pokemon, but a Pokemon generation game, a Pokemon game. I think Britain would do cool. And the fact that I'm from here, I love Pokemon. To be able to play Pokemon uh, and this region designed on a place where I live would be Fucking gnarly. If you're watching, you listen to any of this, and Stonehenge does become like the uh, the legendary spot and shit, I'm, I'm claiming for copper. I'm not really. You would have thought about this ages ago. But visuals, what did you think? Let me know in the comments below. Anything you want to know. I still have a sword and a sexy Genesect. Not that Genesect is sexy. It's a bit harsh that Team Plasma modified it and stuff. It's weird. Thank you so much for watching visuals. Thank you so much for the love and the support. I don't know why I'm channeling the Charles Xavier over to you. We actually haven't done a uh, zoom in. Don't look at my eyes. I'm extremely tired. Uh, I'm minging. More importantly, visual. Keep being you and keep on keeping on. I'm so ill. <laughs>